Hey folks, Crazy Climber Ada here again. And this time we're going to look at another Deco cassette system game. And this one is called 18 Challenge Pro Golf by Data East in 1982 for the Deco cassette system. And it's a follow up to, uh, I think it was just called Pro Golf, or maybe it was Tournament Pro Golf uh, from 1981. And I don't know if that's a flyer for Tournament Pro Golf or if it's a uh, flyer for 18 Challenge Pro Golf. They're two different games, very similar in graphics and music. And here's the boot up screen. But uh, this game is far more challenging and unfair at times. Um, the two major things that are much harder in this game, well, apart that there's a lot more holes to deal with, uh, instead of instead of nine as in the original game, but um, the things I hate most is the trees are much more unforgiving to try to hit over than uh, in the first game, and the putting. As hard as it was in the first game, it's much harder in this game. You uh, you would have been able to sink a putt in the first one without coasting over it a little bit. Um, in this one, you have to be super precise. It's really unfair. <laughs> I much prefer the first game. But uh, yeah, this was created a year after, or the following year, after uh, the first pro golf game, which I think it was called Tournament Pro Golf. But this is uh, 18 Challenge Pro Golf, and the 18, of course, means there's 18 holes instead of 9, as in the original one. But uh, the music's the same, the graphics are the same, the... Uh, uh, the way that you swing is the same except the meter on the left as you're as you're building up power it doesn't it doesn't show uh it i think it it said like shoot in the first game to show that your strength is at its peak when it says shoot but uh it doesn't say that you have to kind of get a feel for where the max power uh, or the, where the top of the meter will be but uh, otherwise the game is the same without those incredibly hard additions <laughs> but uh, yeah it's it's 18 holes I will play through half of them and then I'll just show you show you clips of uh, the rest of them because that would make the game way long. See, it says 18 Challenge Pro Golf. Not meaning that you have to be 18 or older to play, <laughs> but uh, it's 18 holes. And once you beat the 18 holes, then uh, you just go to the next course. On the bottom left, if you see, like... I think it was like an icon of a person or something, or maybe it is those dots. When you run out of them, uh, then you have to use a continue. And to run out of them, you have to uh, uh, get a bogey or or more. I, I actually think once once you get over par then uh, you're automatically moved to the next course if you have any uh, quote-unquote lives left. <laughs> uh, if, you're, if you're out of quote-unquote lives uh, and you go uh, get a bogey, then you have to continue. You have to put in a credit to continue, and then you get moved to the next uh, hole. We'll go ahead and get started. See, the music's the same as in uh, 
Tournament Pro Golf or whatever it was called. The first game made in 1981, which I really like. I thought it was one of uh, the Deco Cassette System's better games. This one's just unfair hard at times. The courses themselves are usually pretty easy. Ooh, that was really close. Ooh, tiny putt. But yeah, if you if you even slightly overshoot the uh, cup, it, it won't go in. In the first game, it was a lot more fair that I remember. Who oh, just missed that tree? Yeah, the trees are seem to be uh, less forgiving in this game. You can't uh, always hit over them, and if you're fairly close and you try to whack it as hard as you can then it'll still probably hit the tree and yeah putting is a pain in the butt enough in the first game oh but that was very good and I got par you get a little bit of a bonus for uh, getting par or better This is a very short course, so par is, is just three. Sweet! Birdie! But, uh, like I said, I'll show you the first nine, and then I'll just uh, fast forward to uh, the rest of them. Ooh, just missed out of bounds. Out of bounds is uh, sometimes necessary to get out of bounds so that uh, the ball can be placed in a much better situation. They'll make sure you're clear of trees wherever they put your ball out from the uh, out of bounds area. Sometimes there's just no uh, par. See, I got an extra quote unquote life. Yeah, they are uh, people icons in the bottom left. And whenever you get a bogey, or well, a bogey, then uh, you use up one of those quote unquote lives. Oh man. If you use the same power and hit in the same direction, you will always get the same results. It's funny, it looks like she's standing on top of the tree. But yeah, you will always get the same results if you use the same power and hit in the same direction with the hook or the slice. It's kind of weird, uh, the controls... Ah, the controls are reverse for the hook or the slice. You press left and it'll the arrow will point to the right. You press right and the arrow will point to the left. Yeah, I greatly prefer the original game. So uh, if you use the same, uh, if you use that certain uh, power and that certain hook or slice, your ball will land in the same place. I mean, if you, like, reset or something. God damn it. Yeah. Par. I think par gives you, like, 2,000 points or something. <sighs> Stupid tree. If you know you're gonna hit a tree... You might as well give it hook or slice to make it bounce on its way back away from the tree. Yeah. Sometimes an out of bounds just cannot be helped. And again, they'll make sure that your ball will be clear of any obstacles when you get it back from out of bounds. And uh, in this game, sometimes... Eh, hole out, that means I lose a life. I went bogey. Sometimes in this game, um, you are you are gonna have to go out of bounds. You are not gonna have a choice. 
Yeah, and uh, sometimes you're going to have to hit it into the tree with uh, some hook or slice to make it bounce back and put it in a much better place to hit it from. Why did I have to... Why did I have to use the sand wedge from there? Should have been able to use the putter. Well, I got bogey, so... Uh, move on to the next hole and lose a quote-unquote life. Well, I'm just going to miss those trees. But again, if you're going to get the same exact placement of the ball, if you use the same... Uh, <laughs> if you use the same uh, power and the same hook or slice, I mean, if you, like, use a save state or something in MAME and, and restart it that hole, you'll get the same results if you have the same power and the same slice or hook. <sighs> God damn it. Par. And that's halfway through. That's nine holes. And I'm four over. Oh well. So yeah, I'll just show you clips of the rest of the holes. Just so you can see what the layout of each hole is. I'll, I'll get it to the, uh, the green and then skip to the next one. Now that was the tenth hole. Now we're on the eleventh hole. And again, sometimes you really have to go out of bounds just to get the ball placed better. And that was the eleventh. Now we're on the twelfth. It's a very short course. And here's the thirteenth hole. Just look at the layout of the course and see if you need to maybe hook or slice to uh, not get it to go out of bounds. But remember, sometimes you don't have a choice but to go out of bounds. And sometimes you will need to change your uh, your club. Sometimes it will just... what the computer gives you isn't ideal. Usually it is, but sometimes not. And now we're gonna look at the 14th hole. And there's another situation where it's a good idea to go out of bounds. It's a it's a stroke penalty, but it puts you right in the middle and and gives you a much better looking shot. Uh, went right over one of the trees. And there's the green. Now we're gonna look at the fifteenth hole. And, uh, yeah, have to go out of bounds sometimes. And it's a fairly short hole. Maybe you could get a birdie on that one. Because par was four. I was already out the green on uh, the third stroke. Or the uh, second stroke. And this one you have to probably go out of bounds. 16th hole. Now let's go to the 17th hole. And there it's a good idea to uh, just bounce back from the tree so you get a better shot and give it full power to go right over it and switch to uh, a heavy club. And now the 18th. 
And once you complete the 18th, you, uh, you move on to a new set of courses. Oh crap, am I going to make it over that tree? Probably not. Oh, there, I did. I just barely got out of bounds. Screw you, you bastard. But at least, yeah, they put it in the middle of the fairway to give you a much better shot. And there's the green. I hold out, but then I go to uh, the second set of 18 holes. New, new course. New, uh, new layouts of the holes. Now I'll uh, show you what it looks like if you elect not to continue when you get a when you get a bogey and run out of uh, quote unquote lives. You have to insert a coin within X amount of seconds to continue your play. And if you elect not to. Your game ends. And for some reason, my high score, I had the high score, but it didn't save it here. I start a new game, and it erases my high score. That's stupid. Well, at any rate, that was 18 Challenge Pro Golf by Data East for the Deco Cassette System in 1982, a sort of sequel to... Uh, uh, tournament pro golf. This is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching. I'll be back soon with another video. See you, folks. Bye bye.